Hello students, today I have prepared a video on subnet mask for IP addressing. Basically it is nothing but default subnet mask for classful IP addressing. Now why there is a need of this subnet mask in case of classful IP addressing? As we know very well whenever we consider an IP address it has two important parts such as network ID and host ID. So basically with the help of a subnet mask we retain the sub network ID and mask or remove the host ID. I repeat it again with the help of subnet mask we retain or maintain the network ID and we basically mask, mask means to remove the host ID. So we will talk in detail what is basically the subnet masking. What do you mean by network address? The network address is the first address of any address block. The network address defines the network to the rest of the internet. Given the network address, we can find the class of the address, the block of the address and the range of the addresses in the block. So we'll try to understand what is my network address with the help of some examples. But before that, in classful addressing, the network address is the one that is assigned to the organization. So basically it is the first address in the address block which is being assigned to the organization. So please remember the network address is always the first address in the address block which is assigned to the organization. Before going to the sum, just to recollect, we have five different classes of an IP addressing which are class A, B, C, D and E. Whenever we are dealing with decimal notation of the IP addresses, one should remember the range of the classes. So just to revise, for class A the range is 0 to 127, for class B it is 128 to 191. For class C, it is 192 to 223. For class D, it is 224 to 239. And for class E, 240 to 255. Talking about the sum. Given the network address, find the class, the block and the range of the address. So whenever a network address is being given to you, the first step is to find the class. So here, to find the class, if you remember, we always see the first byte, we always see the first byte of the IP address and we check in which range that first byte lies. So in first sum, the 17 number lies, yes, 17 number lies over here, that means it is class A. So here, the first step is to identify the class. So it is class A because the first byte is between 0 to 127. The block has net ID of 17 and the range of the address. So what would be the range of the address? Here please remember the starting part that is 00 will remain as it is and it will go up to the max number and the max number in decimal is 255.255.255 and you know very well why 255 because <clears throat> each byte is made up of 8 bits and when all these 8 bits are 1 the maximum decimal value is 255 that's the reason the last number in the IP address would be always 255 in each byte. So 255.255.255.
coming to the next step. In the same way, first step would be to identify the class. Looking at the first byte. Looking at the first byte, yes, it lies between 128 to 191, which is the range for class B. So it is nothing but class B. So the first two bytes are nothing but net ID for class B. So the first two bytes are for class B, which are nothing but network ID. If you remember well, we have already discussed, yes, for class A, only the first byte is net ID. For class B, first two bytes are net ID. And for class C, first three bytes are net ID. I will re repeat it again. For class A, first byte is net ID. For class B, first two bytes are net ID. And for class C, first three bytes are net ID. So since it is class B, we know very well first two bytes are net ID, which is 132.21. And the range would be the remaining 0, 0.0 starting and it will end to, yes, what is the last number in decimal? 255 over here and for last byte, 255. In the similar manner, we will see the third sum. Given the network address, find the class, the address block and the range of the address. Again, to identify the class, we have to see the first byte and here if you see, the first byte is between the range 192 to 223, which is the range for class C. So here if you see, the first sum was regarding related to class A, the next sum was for class B and the third sum is for class C. So in case of class C, yes, the first three bytes are for net ID. So here the first three bytes appears to be net ID and the last digit which is for host ID. The starting address would be 0 and the ending would be 255. So here we have seen how to calculate the address <coughs> that is class of the address, the address block and the range for the given IP address. Now we will try to understand what do you mean by basically a mask or subnet mask. A mask is a 32-bit binary number that gives the first address in the block which is nothing but the network address. When bitwise ended with an address in the block. So basically a subnet mask is a 32-bit binary number why 32? The reason IP address length is also 32 and it is ended to get the network address of the IP address. So again looking for this image as we have told subnet mask is used to retain the network ID and mask the host ID. So the IP address is being Anded with the subnet mask so that network ID will be retained and the host ID will be masked. Now here one should remember since this is a class C IP address as it is 192 which comes into the class C IP address range. For class C the first three bytes are network ID. So we have to retain the first three bytes of the network ID. That's the reason it is going to be ended with 255.255.255 and the last byte is nothing but host ID which we do not want. So it is going to be ended with 0. Again one should understand what do you mean by network ID. The network ID is a part of the IP address starting from the left. As we know well network ID start from the left of the IP address and it identifies the specific network on which the device is located. So basically, it is used for identification of the network within the large internet. And the host ID, which is this part, the host ID is the part of the IP address not taken up by the network ID. It identifies a specific device on that network. So whenever an IP address appears to a router 
first it will look for network id to look where the host is located in which network and afterwards the host id that's the reason first the router should understand which network to go into after getting into network in which host to go into so that's the reason always remember the first path which will appear in the ip address is going to be the network id and then the host id so for masking as i told you anding operation is essential how try to with example so if we and with one the address at the input will appear as it is because anding with one will give you the same input while anding with zero will give you yes the output would be zero the same concept is being used for the subnet mask the network address is the beginning address of each block it can be found by applying the default subnet mask to any of the address in the block it retains or maintains the network id and sets the host id to zero so one should remember the default subnet mask for class a the default mask is 255.0.0.0 why because only first byte is network id so where the network id is wherein 255 is there and where the host id is there wherein the host id is there the subnet mask would be 00, zero. for class b similarly the first two bytes are network so 255 to 255 and rest is host 0.0, .0. for class c the first three bytes are network id so 255.255.255 255 .255 and the last marked is host so 0 over here so quickly look into the three different types of sum which are going to be based on class a b c and d given this ip address find the beginning of the address so here what would be the default mask yes and it is class a so default subnet mask would be 255.0.0.0 .0 and when it is going to be ended with the ip address what would be the output only the first byte why because over here 255 is only for first byte next for class b this is a class b ip address right so what would be the default subnet mask 255.255.0.0 so it is going to retain only first two bytes which are network id and next part it will turn out to be zero why because it is nothing but host id so simply by subnet mask we can retain or maintain the network id and we can mask or remove the host id again the third sum yes it is a part of class c ip address so what is the default subnet mask for class c 255.255.255.0 so it is going to retain which part of the ip address yes first three bytes of the ip address because which are the part of the network id and the last byte will turn out to be 0 because it is nothing but yes host id so with this we have basically discussed what is subnet mask and what are default subnet mask just to quickly revise the default subnet mask for class a is 255.0.0.0 for class b it is 255.255.0.0 and for class c it is 255.255.255.0 just a short note over here 255 where it will appear wherein the network id is there so wherein network id is there there is 255 and wherein the host id is there it comes to be zero and the last part one should also note down the different three types of address unicast multicast and broadcast unicast is basically one to one communication multicast is for group communication that is one to many within a group and broadcast is one to all which is giving the information to all the hosts present in the network thank you with this i am ending an important topic called as subnet mask in the ip addressing thank you